Blackbusters. What's cracking with the family? We are back, man. The best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. I, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm excited, brother. Um, I'm your host, Big Ja, mm-hmm. along with my co-host. Brenda's baby daddy. <laughs> Brenda's baby daddy. Brenda's baby daddy. You don't even put your name in there. I, that's, 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 how name. Much, that's how much hey. I'm rocking with her Who? and claiming her. I'm Brenda's hey, baby Brenda's daddy. Brenda's baby daddy. Mm-hmm. That's a cold name. To this day. Yes, indeed. To this day. Brenda, we'll, we'll get into that. Oof. Y'all don't know who Brenda is, man, Oof. but we'll get into Brenda. Mm-hmm. But let's get into the title first, man. We are now black bustering down mm-hmm. the film Cooley High. They've been asking for it. They've been asking for it, man. We've delivered. Legendary classic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cooley High, come on. Man. Cooley High is just a, a, a great coming of age yeah. film. Yeah. Uh, set in, it, it, it premiered in the 70s. In the 75. It was 75. released in 75, but it was set in the 60s. It's set in the 60s, in man. In Chicago. Like, in Chicago, Chi-Town. Cabrini Green. Cabrini Green, man. Uh, Starring Glenn Terman. Yes, sir. As Preach. Preach. Preacher. Mm. Uh, Lawrence Hilton Jacobs as Cochise. 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 Classic character. Cochise, man. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. We had Stephen Williamson as Jimmy Lee. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mr. Mason. Garrett Morris. Garrett Morris. Mr. Mason. Y'all know him as Stan from Martin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know him as um, Uncle Junior from the Jamie Foxx show. <laughs> But this is way back in the day. We yeah. had the young Gary young Morris, man. the young Gary young Morris, man. Yeah. the young teacher. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. young educator. Mm-hmm. Man, this was a uh, people who have watched. Uh, I feel like most black people mm-hmm. have seen uh, Cooley High. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a dope film. It's a uh, it's a dope film for certain reasons, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we're we're gonna break down. And I, I have my hot takes. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure you hot have take hot jocks. takes. Yeah, hot takes. I'm usually not hot take jocks. Yeah. Usually my takes are pretty solid. You're pretty warm. Pretty warm because pretty, it's, they're pretty universally, yeah. traditionally uh, solid and kind of like I say, universal. Like room people, temperature job. Room because my my takes I feel like are 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 the norm. Yes, even keel. Mm-hmm. A lot of people w- will agree with my my takes. Yeah, yeah. The hot takes. You are the hot take tone master. It's it's hot, it's like. Like, what I like to do is take what you believe and what you know, and I just want to rotate it 25 Man. degrees. Like, I just have you ever looked at it from this angle? From this perspective. And sometimes people be like, listen, why would you want to look at it from, there, right. <laughs> from that? But I'm just like, I just turned it 25 degrees. You, now do you still believe what you believe? You, it's equivalent to people who just love food and mm-hmm. there's people who love spicy food. Yes. In this, in, this, in, this, in this world, you are a spicy eater. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Pause. That look, is, of thank course. you. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I apologize. You know what I'm saying yeah, you just like your food a little spicy. You yeah. know what I'm saying a little extra jalapeno. I like to turn it around a little bit. Yeah, you know what I mean, like you know, I like and it's an acquired. Yeah, a lot of the time. Yeah, but but as hot as it is, what's great is is that there are enough people there that either a agree, uh-huh. b never thought of it that way. Okay, b is a Clear no, but I understand what you was talking about. Right. And then there's the small minority that's like, the fuck is this nigga talking yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> they were like, dog. Yeah. What's going on? Give him a comments, hook. Man. Give so, him a hook. <laughs> I'm sure this I'm sure these comments are going to be uh uh on fire mm-hmm. t- today. Now, so here's the thing. Uh the movie is set in the sixties in Chicago, mm-hmm. the hood of Chicago. Yes. Um, and the main character uh, is uh preach mm-hmm. preacher he's a young dude he's a senior in high school um and he's about seven he's 17 years old yeah. 17 and a half or 17 and three fourths he's on his way to 18 mm-hmm. but uh he has a best friend in cochise cochise is the man is the man he uh it starts off the movie starts off with him just yeah. jogging through the city mm-hmm. i walk through the city um heading to his best friend's house to wake him up to go to school yeah it's friday morning and they're going to school, and, and Glenn Turman, Turman's character, Preach, ain't been to school in all week. Ain't been to school all week. All week, right? So it's just basically young high school seniors and them trying to navigate through their life as youngsters. And this whole movie kind of takes place over the course of what? What you think, about a week? Maybe a week. Week and some change? Yeah, maybe a week, yeah. week and a half, maybe. Yeah, week and a half, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? 
Uh, it jumps around a little bit, but you kind of pretty much follow what's going on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. So Preach and Coach Cheese are on their way to school. Uh, they get to school and they try to sneak in the class, <laughs> right? They're a little mm-hmm. late, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but they and so basically these kids. I'm not gonna go uh, uh, event for event, uh, uh, ep, uh, scene for scene. Well, I will just say that these kids are just living life. Yeah, young dudes living life. It's a crew of homeboys. You got preacher and coaches. It's kind of like the leaders of their crew. Mm-hmm. Um, coaches is a, a a cold basketball player. Cold basketball player. Probably scholarship the, level. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the opening, the first twenty minutes of the film is him going home one day, uh, that day, mm-hmm. and, f- and looking at his uh, his uh, acceptance letter into a certain college. He yeah. had a scholarship to. Yeah. And he's juiced. Yeah. Like he he's just, he's a slacker. He he be cutting class and all that. But he's down for his homies, yeah. and he loves hoop, and he's nice. He's done nice, mm-hmm. and he got the scholarship. So now, and this is the 60s, the yeah. black man, young black man, got a scholarship out of the city to play at a university, yeah. and now he's juiced, and his homeboys need to celebrate. And they're just chilling. They're just chilling. This movie, so it's interesting, uh, because we have gone through um, pretty much all, I mean, I'm sure there's a couple that we haven't covered, mm-hmm. of the homie hood drama mm-hmm. collection. Right. Right. And this movie, to make a basketball kind of like metaphor, this movie, Cooley High, is Dr. J. Man. Dr. The J. Prototype. Right. Yeah. Boys in the Hood, Juice, Minister mm-hmm. Society. This is your magic. Ooh, yeah. This is your Jordan, Jordan. Right. And those are the ones that kind of get the acclaim. Right. And 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 everybody knows and establish. But like we've kind of have forgotten about Dr. J. And of Dr. Course. J was who Jordan modern, modeled his game after. Yes, he, yes. Dr. J was above the rim. Dr. Above J rim. was smooth. Flashy. Dr. J was flashy. Dr. Mm-hmm. J was handsome and marketable. Right. Cooley High is the prototype for all the of these movies. Of all these coming it was of the age hood movies. 100%. Right. They all reflect kids that should be in school but ain't. Right. Right. They all have a tragic kind of murder mm-hmm. or death. Yeah. Right. But Cooley High is. It comes from like a pure place. A pure because yeah. there's no like there's no guns. They're right. just kids getting into stuff. Getting into stuff. And good kids, mad city. Yes. Yeah. So Boom. it's like these kids aren't bad kids. None. They're not out there trying to hurt nobody. They're not robbing, they're not robbing old ladies. Right. They might hold up a prostitute or two. Which was fantastic. Which is amazing. We'll get to <laughs> that just minute. Fantastic. But like Coach Cheese and, and Preacher. Their friends are uh, um, Willie, yeah, and Tyrone, mm-hmm. and with, Lil, the, with the perm, and Lil Pooter, and Lil Pooter, man. yeah. <laughs> Lil Pooter is, you know, in high school, you ever had them classes, the, those combination classes where you might be a senior, mm-hmm. but you might be in class with a freshman, yeah. Like, I, I, I have one. Matter of fact, I think my senior year, my senior year, or my junior year, mm-hmm. I was in math class. What a freshman. Mm-hmm. My boy Alex. Shout out to my boy Alex Gascon. He's mm-hmm. my homeboy's little brother. Okay. But he was super smart. Mm-hmm. So I guess him as a freshman, he he must have placed high enough to be in this class. We're going to put you here. With the juniors and seniors. Yep. Yep. Um, And so that might have been Pooter. Mm-hmm. Pooter might have been a better student had he been with a better A different crew, right? But he was ditching school with these other kids. And they and was older and, kids. And they was the man. Yeah, like, yeah. Co- like Cochise was the man. Coaches. Everybody loved Cochise. Cochise was smooth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he knew what happened. He always kind of had a, 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 a smile on his face. Uh-huh. He was always kind of like laughing, you right. know? Preach was the one with all the skills, but was kind of full of shit. Yeah. Right? Like, he was you, a douchebag, low key. He, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> he was a dude. You know, didn't know how, didn't have no game. Right. Being hella aggressive with the makeouts. Man. <laughs> right? Whoa. Like, you know, wasn't smooth. You know, always kind of like lying and cutting up, but it almost was like preach was like, I'm I'm low key bigger than this place. Yeah. Right. So I'm not gonna mm-hmm. be around much longer. Right. You know, but while I'm here, I'm gonna kind of do my thing. And Pooter was like the runt. Let me uh, Pooter was the runt. Let's he break was the this runt. down. Mm-hmm. Let's break this down. Okay. So Coach East was uh Hakeem. Yes. From Juice. Hundred percent. He was the leader. He was the flashy, hundred uh, percent, but respectable, humble mm-hmm. leader mm-hmm. that all the girls liked, um, all the guys looked up to. Yep, and he had a, a leading quality. Yep, 
Cochise was that too. You could draw a direct line yeah. from Cochise. And mm-hmm. Q yeah. is preacher. Yeah. Q was the DJ. He was great at that. You mm-hmm. know, even his homeboys didn't do it, but they respected that he did it and they and he was passionate, so they were supporting him. Mm-hmm. Homies, they supported him in his poetry, but yeah. they teased him about it because they Because it's do poetry. It. It's poetry. Yeah. But when it's all said and done, we love you, bro. Yeah. And we know you're nice with it. And, and uh, he loved poetry. Now he was he was real passionate about reading mm-hmm. and, and, and 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 doing poetry. He probably got the nickname Preach because he was always speaking to them about something. Yeah, either like sharing what he had mm-hmm. read or sharing what he had learned he or telling some, them something about history. Some author that he, exactly. Yeah. that's probably how he got the nickname Preach. Yeah, it's because he was always you right. know sp- you know. Talking right. game. Exactly. Like Sharif, right? <laughs> you know? Yes. <laughs> from, from, <laughs> Sharif was the, 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 hood, the hood preacher. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Boom. Um, Steel is Pooter. 100%. Yes. 100%. Yes. That's crazy how the, the parallels of this film, mm-hmm. of these two films. Yeah. Um, now, Bishop mm-hmm. isn't uh, Willie or Tyrone. Right. But he is Damon. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yes, right there, mm-hmm. right there. And then Cochise is also Ricky. Ricky, yes. Right? Like, yeah. Cochise is also uh-huh. Ricky, yeah. right? Like, you know, so the the the, the parallels between these when films. When you the stories, of, the, 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 people say there's only 12 characters in the film, mm-hmm. right? There's only, when it comes to films, there's only 12 yeah. or six or something like that. But I, I forget you, what, uh, the different because, archetypes and stuff. The, 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 yeah, the different yeah. archetypes when, you, when you're writing a story and you're building characters mm-hmm. in your stories. Mm-hmm. So Cochise is, like you said, Ricky from Boys in the Hood. He's yeah. Hakeem from Juice. Mm-hmm. He, uh, and he's so many other characters. If you go down the line, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the main character is the Cochise, the Q, the Kane. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The yep. Trey. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, Preacher is that. Mm-hmm. Preacher is the main character. Cochise is the main man mm-hmm. in the film. Is it the co-lead, if you will, almost yeah. like shares it sometimes. But yeah. Cochise, for sure, I mean, Preacher, for sure, is the guy that you're following the most. Yeah. He's and, a, he's and, he's the main character. Yeah. And he does such a fantastic job. Yeah. Like, like watching this movie, I think this movie works so well because of how good a, lo- a young Glenn, you know, Truman is yeah. as preach. Right. He's really believable and really like funny and fun and serious charming, and annoying, charming and, and annoying. Yeah. All of that. All of it. And he does all of it well. Like Cochise is a great, cool guy. Yeah. He's a great, cool guy. You believe that he is literally macking down every broad in the project <laughs> like with, with no regard. No regard. No regard. I, it's what I'm supposed to do. It's, I'm Cochise. I'm Cochise. This is what I do. I'm so you understand. Uh-huh. Hey, 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 baby, put this record on real quick. Yeah. Yeah. They at the house party. <laughs> well, before we get to that, I'm going to say something else about Cochise. Cochise wasn't no hoe. No. He was a real one. Mm-hmm. And and he stood up for his homeboys. He stood up against the bullies. He was the Playboy Mac guy that all the girls liked. Yep. So he's oh he's in the hallway macking your girl. If you ain't mm-hmm. if you ain't focused, you'll yeah. be coach used to be in the in the corner with your girl. Pinching booties on Pinch, his wallet while he's sneaking pinching out of class. Pinching booties on the way out of <laughs> yeah, class. Yeah, and they giggling. And all the girls is oh, ouch. Yeah. Oh, it's Cochise. Yeah, it's Coach Cheese. Yeah, it's Coach Cheese. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So um, but when it came down to squabbling mm-hmm. and, and, and 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 taking up for his homeboys, he yes. was there and he had hands. He had hands. Yeah. But he was also one of the best athletes in the city. Yeah. In Chicago. He's just, so. he just the alpha. He just, yeah. He just, he's, he just, right. Coach <clears throat> Eves was the alpha male. Right. Right? Like mm-hmm. that everybody knew, everybody right. liked, yeah. everybody respected. And and uh, Preacher was not necessarily a tough guy. No. And he was down for his homies because he knew that's what you're supposed to yes, be. Yes, yes. You got to be damned. His his instincts were always to flee first, mm-hmm. but then he would flight re- before flight. Flight, before, but then before, he before, would before recalibrate, fight. like yeah. you know, because we'll talk about the party. But like you know, when we get to the party, his instincts were to run, right? But then like he had to like man up, so he was not against manning up mm-hmm. or stepping up. He just wasn't no fighter. Right. right, like you when know, he, he was, was a preacher. He, he was, was small. He was diminutive. Yeah. He knew it. Like Coach yeah. called him out on it. Like you know, uh-huh. no wonder you ain't getting no ass. Like you know, you yeah. all skinny and you know <clears throat> frail. whatever, frail. Yeah, but but you know, as as teenage shady as they were, uh-huh. 
and they were teenage shady teenage towards shady. each other, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. The same type. We'll get of, to that. Yeah. We'll get to that. Uh-huh. Like, but okay, not. I agree. But not bad shady. No, they no, just no. were. They were clumsy. The way teenagers are clumsy, um, they were insensitive in the way that teenagers were insensitive. Right. They were naive in the way that teenagers were naive. But that was about it, right? Outside of that, like, what? No bad people in the right. crew. Yeah, they wasn't gonna grow up to be the trash. They wasn't. The they city. wasn't Stone and Robert. Right, Stone and Robert. Man, what a duo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So so much to cover. These kids just want to have fun. They want to cut class. They're bored. They mm-hmm. don't want to study. Mm-hmm. They, they want to hang out, chase girls. Cochise wanted to chase girls, and he did. They he didn't. He didn't have to do much chasing. Yeah. But so there was a scene I want to talk about real quick to kind of show you. I think the scene is important because they want to show the difference between these two best friends, mm-hmm. Cochise and Preacher. They're sitting inside this door with this this stairway. And they macking these two chicks. Mm-hmm. Coach Chase is going to work with this girl. She's going to open work. and willing to let him do everything. Blouse is and blouse open. is coming out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Little training bra. Yeah. There. Mm-hmm. But by the time uh, she had a regular bra, she yeah. probably wasn't. But it was cotton, uh, like little cotton, cotton bra. You know what I'm saying? Like, like... And across the hall, right behind them, mm-hmm. Paul is a uh, is is preacher with his little chick. Yeah. And he's kissing her all over the face, but he's damn near kissing her eyebrows, he can't her ears, get nothing popping. And he's trying to reach up under her skirt. She mm-hmm. keeps saying no, mm-hmm. and 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 he's aggressively trying to just get further himself in this whole little kissing session. Mm-hmm. And he's looking back at Coach Cheese. Coach Cheese is going smooth. Yeah, and yeah. She, and he's getting all the rhythm and all yeah. the... He's getting all... He got her open in the, the stairway. Yeah, <laughs> she's giving him everything he needs. Yeah, yeah. And this other chick he with, the preacher's with, she's mm-hmm. giving him all the no's. And mm-hmm. she's basically playing defense. Yeah. Why is she letting them kiss on him? And then she's like, you know, I wanted to go. I want to go. So basically... And it's because you think to myself... And she likes him. Mm-hmm. But... I, and my mom, I'm watching it. I'm like, I'm like, why is she tripping? Mm-hmm. Like, you like this dude, right? You there with him? But she says, nah, uh, no, uh, uh, because you gonna tell. Yep, that was the reason. That was the reason. She was like, and that's back in the day. It was like girls didn't want to, they didn't want to have that rep. This is because you gonna run true. your mouth. Yes. And Coach Chief is the dude that kisses and don't tell. He kisses and he doesn't tell. Yeah, he does. He's that's why he it. gets so much action. Yeah, and but, the girls are willing. They, they know you know mm-hmm. you gonna have a good time with Coach Cheese. Yeah, and ain't gonna be no goofy. This yep. he gonna he gonna go at your pace, mm-hmm. and he gonna meet you at your pace. Mm-hmm. Preacher is going at, at at a fast pace, at a non player pace, mm-hmm. going to moving too fast. And, yep. and the girls like, hold on, chill out, take it yeah. easy. He ain't nothing smooth about preachers. Preachers play. Um, even so much so that that Coach Cheese had to even cut preach loose. Like yo. You gotta bounce. You fucking up my. Pr- you you know you fucking up the vibe here. He said, "Preach. Let's go outside real quick. Yeah. Let's take a break." <laughs> so they leave. They 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 they, they kissing session. Uh huh. They leave and walk outside. Leave the two girls in the hallway. Right. He said, "Man, preach. Come outside with me, bro." Yeah. He said, "Hey, man, you messing up my my, my vibe. Yeah. Bro. You killing my vibe. You're killing my vibe. What you mean, man? Hey, man. She she just saying no because she's just playing hard mm-hmm. to get, man. But she's gonna be okay. And let's go back in there. Mm-hmm. No, man. Don't go back in there. Yeah. Matter of fact." I don't want that girl here no yeah, more, man. Take her somewhere. Take her somewhere. Take her out of the equation, bro. Mm-hmm. And he said, "I don't want her here." But she wasn't really the problem. She was, mm-hmm. but she was a problem because preacher was a problem. Yep. Bro, you over here not doing your job right. Right. You right. killing the vibe. Right. Killing the and vibe. Now she got the attitude, and now her home girl. Yeah. This like, and this is so so like uh, traditional and re- relative to growing up. This is so high school. They in the, before they go outside to talk, the two girls are in there with Coach East and preacher. Yeah, and. The girl that Coach East is on, she happens to look over Coach East's shoulder uh-huh. and look in that preacher not getting no no action. The way he, <laughs> right, right. And right. he sees the he, she sees her homegirl like putting up a fight. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I'll do it if she do if it. If she do it. Yeah. And the preacher was like, hold on, hold on. First of all, you was already going. Yeah. Now all of a sudden you're getting distracted because you see your homegirl over there putting up a fight. Mm-hmm. So now you feeling guilty. Almost mm-hmm. like, well, shit, I ain't gonna be the only one easy. Yep. Yep. You know? Yep. <laughs> see, I do it and she do it. Such a <sighs> That's a hey, man. That's I mean, it's that little scene like right there that like whether it was high school and you over at somebody's house uh-huh. or in the washroom, the laundry washroom. room of an apartment building, uh-huh. yeah. like later on yeah, in the you door. Have a key to it. Yeah. Just like, uh-huh. listen, like your job is to keep the other one occupied. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, if we can both smash. Perfect. Perfect. Right. But if you don't do your job, mm-hmm. my the one that I'm with is going to 
A, notice, mm-hmm. and that might fuck up the vibe. Yep. Or B, she's still loyal to her friend. She don't want her friend to be uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. So all you got to do is keep yours occupied. Yeah. Right? And the fact that we both here means that she's willing to fuck with you. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, <laughs> but but if but if I've seen so many guys go to preach route in that situation and being like, listen, man, you were either with a conversation, either with a mouthpiece or their aggressiveness. Overly assert your way into the draw. Yeah. And it's just like, man, you like, can, you know, man. you 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 blowing it. You wanted too much in the shows. You you wanted too much in the shows. <laughs> Come on, man. The ice ain't been broken enough. She just met you today. I mean, right. in this situation in the movie, obviously they, they knew each other. They was all in school and maybe had even done this before. But it got mm-hmm. to the point where coaches realized, I gotta let you go. And preach was so clumsy even in the exit oh my god you know what i mean to walk all the way up and the, the man goes deeper into the shadows <laughs> to make out how much walk- this is my chick from <laughs> yeah. her homegirl right right so yeah you walk all the way up on us you on my back you I, on my I, back i, 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 I can hear you, 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 you breathing bro so she said bye he said, nah, man, come on, man. Yeah. Step. Bro. Step. Bye. Come on. Bye. Get out of here. <laughs> Scram, yeah. dude. Yeah. And um, so. That really and, frames up the two guys. Yes. It yeah. shows you the type of friendship they have, and it shows you the type of caliber of dude mm-hmm. each guy is. Mm-hmm. Um, And it is hilarious when um, Preach actually walked, when he actually did take the girl home. Mm-hmm. Man, come on, man. Matt. He took, oh, yeah. Matt. And thing is, her saying, I don't, um, you going to tell, it means I don't trust you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Girls looked for Coach Chiefs and they 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 saw that, oh yeah, this is somebody I can have a good time mm-hmm. with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't tripping. And well, even Preach, if he, they weren't tripping, you know, hooking up with Coach East was was like a bit of a merit badge. Right. Because he didn't choose everybody. Nah. He wasn't fucking with everybody. He'll give you a kiss on the cheek. Give you a little kiss on the cheek. That's about it. Yeah. But you but you could say, like, yeah, I was. I was with Coach East, right? Well, like you, you lying, girl. I was with him, I was the, with night. him the other night. Da, 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 the party, right? So that was a, that was a big deal, right? But that was the network, like you know, you know, they was trying. Like basically, it was about getting high, getting high, getting drunk, chasing girls, uh-huh. you know, basketball days and high nights, right? Yeah, basketball <laughs> like, days and high and nights, high nights, right? Like bar. that was the bar, yeah. right? Um, this movie was the first movie that taught me about. Pouring out some liquor for the dudes that ain't here. Yeah, this like uh-huh. this movie established that, right? Like uh-huh. you know, and it, that's it, what I'm saying. Yeah, the quintessential like pioneer hood film mm-hmm. with the hood homies. Yeah, and <clears throat> the regular kids and the good kids in the mad city, meaning like they wasn't the street dudes, mm-hmm. they weren't the car thieves, they wasn't the drug dealers. They was just regular kids ditching school, chasing girls, going to Martha's, chasing skirt, going to Martha's, going to Martha's to 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 dance. And Martha's, oh, this the, the parallels again. Martha, mm-hmm. Martha's was Trip, yeah, and, and Juice was named Trip. Uh, um, um, yeah, um, but Sam Jackson, Sam, yeah, Sam Jackson's the character. same spot, the same the ditch after, spot, the, yep. the, the ditch spot. Yep, you go after school or mm-hmm. during school or during school. You know what type of student you was. Yep, and um. Yeah, Martha's was at Martha's. Like, you can get something to eat. They always had the radio on. Yep, everybody was you dancing. Chick. You mac your chick. This girl, man, I want to go to Martha's. Home. Martha's was awesome. Yeah, she sure. pick up that cleaver. Oh yeah, even the gangsters yeah. respected it. Get up out of here. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, all right, then. Mother, all right, mama, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. we going. Yeah. We, 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 we grooving, baby. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Um, preacher got himself into a lot of mess. Yeah, unnecessarily. Mm-hmm. Um. He wanted to shoot dice with the with the with the with the street dudes. With the with the hood dudes. Yeah. He was a chance taker. Yeah. Um, which I respect about him. Mm-hmm. He wasn't scared to to take a chance. He wasn't scared. To, um and so uh and he saw what he wanted. When he saw Brenda. Come on now. Can can we can Are we gonna wait for her or are we gonna go talk I about I mean, her we now? we had Martha's, and that's the first time we see Brenda. Yeah. Is that Martha's? Yeah. Damn, Brenda was fine. Brenda was fine. Bro. Brenda was fine, bro. Man. <laughs> she was and it wasn't fine. just her look, cause she she looked good. Mm-hmm. The red bone. Yeah, it was her energy too. Yeah, it wasn't. I ain't for everybody. Yeah. If, yeah. if I ain't for the streets, was a person. It's Brenda from Cooley High, bro. Man, damn. damn. If I ain't for the streets, was a person. Yeah, yeah. It's Brenda from Cooley High. She, man, Brenda. Brenda was fine. Like, like, like. And I was thinking about it when I and, and every time I watch Cooley High, I go, God damn, Brenda's so fine, right? Still. Still. 
And so, like, Brenda might be on my Mount Rushmore of, of, you know what I mean? Like, if you break it down. Oh, she might be Mount Rushmore Heart. fine. So what is she like the uh, love interest to a hood film? Yeah. To a hood, uh, to a hood lead character. Like you got the Brandies from Boys in the Hood. Mm-hmm. You got the, uh, the, um, what's her name? What's baby girl? What's dead? Uh, uh, Frankie, mm-hmm. Frankie from Innocent Society. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you got, she blow. I mean, you got, you got, a uh, uh, um, Ricky's girl in 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 Boys in the Hood. Yes, Demita. Uh, she wasn't Demita in the movie. You got Demita from Class Act. Yeah, and then you she doubles for is yeah. it Keisha. I, I don't even name. know what her name is. Can't, I don't remember her yeah, name. Yeah. in Boys in the Hood. I have to go back and look at it. But yeah. y'all tell me what's what's Keisha? What's Demita from Class Act's name in Boys in the Hood? Ricky's girl. But even if we go a step further than hood movies, Brenda might be Mount Rushmore. In terms of just fine black women in movies, period. Boom, boom. Like, yeah. like Brenda in Cooley High is yeah. to me just as fine as Halle Berry was in Strictly Business. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You know woo. what I mean? Like, you know, she could have easily been woo. Yeah, she could have easily been the uh, Brenda was Halle character sh- in, in Strictly Business. And I don't know if it's because, and I'm not saying nothing against any of the other cast in Cooley High, uh-huh. but. A lot. Everybody else was busted. Here's the thing. <laughs> in, in, in comparison, yes, you got because yeah. you had the you had the you know who I actually did like though. Mm-hmm. I did. I forget her name. Uh, baby girl, Coachie's initial chick. That yeah. Wasn't given, I, I thought she. I was. Yeah. I thought she was a cutie pot. Yeah. Until you know we saw saying? her again at the party, and uh, because she was the one that turned the record on in the party. Uh no no no. Are you talking about oh, that Cochise asked to? So remember, all right. So remember when Cochise and Preacher are in the stairway, uh-huh. right? The girl that he's making out with is the girl that he walks up to in the uh, Cochise. And Cochise walks into in the party and says, "Put the record on." Yeah, right. Yes. And then when she puts the record on, he goes over and sits on a couch and talks to what, the other girl, Loretta Brown. Mm, Loretta Brown. Loretta Brown. Who was who was who? Might be the villain of this whole fucking story, man. Oh my god, <laughs> bro! It might be Lebretta, Lebretta, Lebretta Brown. Might be the reason why Coachie's not because Damon, Damon. We'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, because there's they, there's a lingering scene because of course, like she put the, the girl puts on the record and she kind of puffs up because she's thinking she's about to dance with Coachie. Yeah. Coachie's walks away and they linger on her for a bit and they put the camera on her and you can see like it's the same chick. Right, it's oh, the yeah. same girl because you know Cochise is Cochise is out there Cochise the Magic Johnson of the Cabrini Greens right yeah, exactly like, like he out there working he's a, the Jesus Shuttlesworth <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh, yeah exactly Chicago yeah but no I'm, I'm saying Preacher's Girl mm-hmm. that the one that wasn't giving the draws up I yeah. liked her she's got an interesting she look was a, she was a pretty uh, yeah. she was hood pretty she, yeah. oh, she was just a pretty chick from the hood man it's just Brenda and just stood out Brent, Brent, Brenda stood out mm-hmm. um, for everything that you said yeah her classy energy, her class, energy yeah even her voice, was, and she was her voice. When she opened her mouth, you yeah. were like, "Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's what you sound like." Uh huh. Okay, you should be a singer somewhere. Yeah, yeah. She was um, great. She was dope. Um, and then, and she wasn't approved. You thought she was? Yeah, she wasn't approved. She just wanted you to spend some time. Yeah, yeah. She wanted to hit you some quality time. Yeah. With you had to earn it. Yeah, you, you had, had to earn. You it. You had to earn it, and not even on some what you buy me. Yeah, it's on to just get to, get to know me because she wasn't fucking with. Preacher's rap, you know, pre- like, preacher was coming all whack. He, at first. Yeah, he I knew mean, it. He knew he was coming whack. Uh-huh. It wasn't until they was at the party and and he mentioned the poetry. The, yeah, mentioned mentioned the, just because she happened to be in the other room. Mm-hmm. You know, not fucking with all the bullshit, but in the other right. room reading poetry. She went in the room because of him. Yes, he ran. He ran her into the room. <laughs> exactly. Like damn, like exactly. the hood. The party was cool. She was chilling. She, like I said, she hang out. She yeah. She, she was in the kitchen. She was at the party. Yeah. So she like I said, she, she be at Martha's. She was at she was at she Martha's. Be out, uh, she be chilling on the block, but she don't be for the block. That's why she's a winner. That's why she's a winner. That's bro. why she's a winner. Yeah. She was at Martha's chilling. Uh huh. She was at the party chilling. Right. She was like, this motherfucker won't leave me alone. And, and he's saying all the wrong shit. And he's saying all the wrong stuff. Like, he's striking out He's talking to her time. like she's a regular bra. Yes. And he don't know that she's different. You, you don't know I'm yeah. different? Bro, yeah. come on, man. And so then they stumble upon something that they can 
relate organically to, relate or, to, which is poetry. And, and he at that point she saw, oh, he's not he's not fronting, mm-hmm. he's not giving me script, he's he, not he's not he gaming. Knows, me. Yeah. Oh, he knows his shit. Yeah. Her her energy ch- totally changed. Yeah. She went from like repulsed mm-hmm. by him to like in awe, low key. Okay, you different. She was like, oh, you, she her jaw dropped. She's mm-hmm. like, you you know this? He yeah. Was like, and then his response was even regular. Yeah, yeah. Um, I you know. I forget the guy's name, but he was like uh, yeah. Michael, Michael Benton mm-hmm. or William Benton. Yeah, know, yeah. If you really like this type of stuff, you'll love this uh, this author, yeah. Michael Benton. And, and she then, was like, and then quote it, and yeah. then and then and then quote it like a little love bar, a it little was, love bar. It was like yo, and, yeah. and bashfully looked yeah. away. The bashful, mm-hmm. she was like, oh, that's not. He was like, yeah, this one kind of applies to you. Yeah. Then he hit her with the joke, yeah. I'm gonna get it to you. I just gotta steal it, right? Like you know, right, like right. okay, now, and she was like, okay, boy. yeah, now I'm fucking with you because you're different. Yep. Yep. I ain't never had nobody come at me like this. Mm-hmm. You are right, you chased me out of the, the damn party. Now I'm in the room by myself reading a book. Yeah, and because I love reading, so she in the in the room reading a book. And yeah. he come in there and game her up on accident because mm-hmm. he wasn't even trying to game her at this point. Yeah, he was really interested. He saw her with the book. He, he oh he sat down and took the book. Like, oh mm-hmm. you, you rock this. Yeah, everybody yeah. laughing at me for reading this. And you and you on this. Yeah. Now we got commonality. And now we got com- yeah commonality. So bro. let's talk about what else happened at the party. Okay. So. What's her name? Loretta. Let's talk about Pooter. Pooter. Because Pooter was the first to jump on some buns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pooter tried. He saw across the room uh-huh. a, 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 little, a little chunky mama that was fucking up the tortilla chips. Yeah. She, <laughs> I mean, she was killing it. It was, yeah. it was tortilla chips, ruffles. It was lays. It was every type of chip in there, she was fucking it up. The self-awareness of Pooter was great. Pooter knew where his lane was. <laughs> <laughs> Pooter looked across oh, the room man. and was like tortilla chips. It was so That's many me. things. When you walked in there, it was so many women dancing, mm-hmm. doing the doing what's that the jerk. Yeah. But yeah, everybody the, in there the getting the, the same joint. Right, the jerk. Yeah, right, 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 right. And he was like, "Oh yeah, look at all, all this talent in here." Mm-hmm. He was like, "Ooh we, ooh we, oh, mm-hmm. oh, yeah." A little pocket of my speed. Yep, yep. A little pocket, a little of, pocket speed of my speed. Women, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Free girls in the corner <laughs> chilling. They was yeah. younger a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't fully. They, they wasn't all the way cute. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But great. they was. But they was. They was girls. They was girls. And they was giving them some eye. Yeah. And he was like, "Oh shit, that's where I'm supposed to be at." Pooter's like, "I'm shooting my shot. I'm shooting my shot right now." Yep. Love uh-huh. it. Love and it. Went over there. Love it. That was great. And the girls was there, but as soon as he came over there. They he realized oh they was looking at coach they spread it over to coach cheese because he yeah. was sitting he was standing next to coach cheese mm-hmm. at the door mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. man yeah and coach cheese oh, okay yeah <laughs> you know kind of playing them off like you oh, know you're dancing. Uh, not right now not baby right girl. now maybe a little okay. later girl da, 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 da. Uh, this is what I will do mm-hmm. yeah yeah yeah, yeah and one of the girls in the crew and kiss. she was like yeah and, and it's almost like you're right like they seem like they were sophomores. Mm-hmm. Right, like they at the party. Yeah. You know what I mean. Like you know, they, shoot, they shot at the older homie. Yeah, the big yeah. homie. I love the girl that threw the party. She was she was great hey, for me, man. You know, she was always yelling. You know what I mean? But like, but fun. You know what I mean? But just like no nonsense. Like and, and hard. She is the Keisha from Belly that no one fucks with, but somebody mm-hmm. that can't handle her. Yeah, yeah. Like Tyrone, Tyrone was like she turned away the gangsters, mm-hmm. Stone and Robert. She turned them she was away. Like, hey man, nah, y'all can't come in here unless y'all got a quarter. We ain't got, no, we ain't got no quarter. But come mm-hmm. on, man, you know us, girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know, I know y'all. I know y'all ain't got no quarter, so leave. Yep, Yo. yep. All right, man, dang. Mm-hmm. The gangsters walked away. They yep. coming, they came, they coming downstairs, and, and the homies, Coach and them, is coming upstairs. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, bro, yeah. Uh, what's we'll say? Let's say her name was uh, Deidre. Yeah. DJ, DJ ain't letting us in, man. You, you got to mm-hmm. have a quarter to get up in there, man. See, Homie Tyrone yeah. was like, don't even worry Who about it. Who at the door? DJ. Yeah. Oh, DJ? Don't I'll even worry about it. <laughs> don't even worry you know about it. Because she got yeah. eyes for me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she did. So like, and she, she did. She stepped off the door quick. But she gave him a little, gave him a little, uh, mm-hmm. a little fight back. Oh, mm-hmm. so you had me, you had me stolen all, all recess. Yeah, yeah. All lunchtime. You ain't called me. You mean, you know what I'm saying? You, you left me hanging all mm-hmm. recess, mm-hmm. all lunchtime. Yeah. Like, come on, Green, I have something to do. You know, but you know, I got eyes for you, though. Come yeah. On, girl. Yeah. Let's go over here real quick. Mm-hmm. I, I gotta watch the door. Uh, hey, hey, preacher. Come watch the door. Preacher, watch the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's great. Don't let nobody in here preach. They ain't got no quota. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got you. Yeah, she was yelling. She Me body from, running the hustle. He went over there. She was all kisses. Yeah. Yeah, Tyrone got her in the, got her in the corner now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll go here. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And so, and she, and she came back. One trying to let Damon in. She, okay, so this is great because Damon comes in. Damon comes to, to, to the door and... She's checking Damon, like, yo, I I know you. I know you. 
I'm trying to have a good time with everybody. We else. having a good, you know. Nah, you be here fighting. You come in here fighting. Yeah. Damon in the party, all of 15 seconds before he throw off Cochise off, off of Loretta. And so this this is the first kind of like argument where it's just like there are a couple of people that I feel are responsible for what happened in this movie. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, one of them is, and they're both odd takes and takes that I didn't think about until now. Mm-hmm. I'll give one of them there now. There you go. Right? Uh-huh. Loretta knew better than that. Loretta knew that she was with Damon. And we didn't know, but she did. She knew. She knew. Because, when she, because after Damon... You know, threw Cochise off. She went quick into... And she was apologizing. I'm sorry, baby. And she was apologizing to Damon, right? So she in there letting Cochise rub Sweet all up yams. on her cheeks and the yams, Man. right? Knowing that Damon is coming to this party. Yeah. It ain't like she wasn't expecting Damon to not be there. But what happened? Knowing that right? Damon is a, is a hothead. And knowing, and she acted like that too. She was like shooting niggas off. Mm-hmm. She was on the couch by herself, minding her own business, yep. drinking her little her little her little drink. Mm-hmm. And dudes were trying to dance with her, mm-hmm. take her hand and pull her up. It was let's just dance real quick. Right. Let's dance. And right. She was like, Nah, I'm good. Boom. But then she saw she saw Coach E sitting there, mm-hmm. and, Coach, and was like, like I'm willing to to level up to I'm Coach gonna take a penitentiary chance. Yep. With Coach E. Mm-hmm. He came over, sat down. He said, "Hey, check this out." Mm-hmm. But he, the brother had game. Yes, he said, "Hey, check this out." By the time I by the time I get off this couch, I want your name, your phone number, mm-hmm. and your address. Yep. Woo. Woo. Straight to the point. Winning. By the time <laughs> I get off this couch, mm-hmm. I want all that, all those things from you. Yep. She said, Loretta, Loretta Brown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she was Loretta Brown, bro. And she was thick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know me, I'm the end man. Yeah. So I'm going to check her. The thigh was th- her thigh meat was thigh meat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Had her legs crossed. But she came over there. And coach, she sat down next to her. And she crumbled. Okay. Mm-hmm. She yep. fought a little bit. Yep. She was yep. in, her, in, her, in her seat like, oh, wait. Mm-hmm. And he he got her up there. He pulled her, uh, picked her up off the couch. They, they started dancing. Mm-hmm. But before that, he before he went over there, he had old girl change the music. They were listening mm-hmm. to like some fast. He knew what he smoke. was doing. He said, "I hey, change the mm-hmm. change the music and turn the lights off." Yeah, even Pooter was mad. Pooter was like, "Y'all can grind later. We was dancing." Yeah, because <laughs> right? Pooter knew that 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 his night was basically over. <laughs> I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna have to like yeah. wop my way into right. some drawers. Right, right, right. Uh, a jitterbug my yeah. way into some yeah. panties. And you done uh, switched up the music. We ain't there yet. I, exactly. We just got here, yeah. bro. Yeah, we're yeah. not at the slow. We're not at the red light special slow dance um portion of the of the night yet. Cochise, you can do that. Right, you can walk into the party and and switch the, the tone right yeah. away and get into it. I'm still working on 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 tortilla chips. I'm still working on chunky baby. <laughs> I'm still with the working chips. on chunky baby. Yeah, right? you know, but damn, you done fucked it up already. Y'all can do that. Pooter was like, y'all can do that all night. Like, let us party. Right, you know what I mean? Like for a little bit. But yeah, coaches get to dance with her. Mm-hmm. Damon get to coming in. Damon Flash. Damon chilling, but Damon walk in ice grilling. Like, yeah, he's a, he's that kind of guy. But he had that quarter. He said, mm-hmm. "Hey man, I got a quarter. Yeah, let me in." DJ. I came into the party. I want to have a good time. Saw his girl with Cochise. The hell? They. Hey man, mm-hmm. you lost your mind. Yep. Get your hands off my old lady. Say, hey, man, I didn't know that she was with you. Cochise was stand up off that. Like, yeah. like he was a real one. He said, "Listen, I'm apologize. Right, but that's it." <laughs> right, he had an ethic. He, yeah. he had a code of ethics, man. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a apologize, but that's it. Like beyond, like, hey, man, no disrespect. I didn't know she was. With I didn't you, bro. know, but I apologize for for that. But aside from that apology, that's it. Mm-hmm. That wasn't good leave enough. It alone. For, that, leave it alone. Damon. That wasn't good enough for Damon. Damon got fucked up by Cochise. Damon said, "Nah, man, I'm gonna kick your ass." Mm-hmm. He said, nah, and Deidre said, nah, you ain't going to fight in here. You're going to fight somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And Tyrone, Tyrone's one of the homies. He's yeah. part of the crew with yeah, Coach yeah. Preacher in there. He's the one that's been keeping Deidre's attention away from police in the party. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, police, uh, but now Deidre's back on the grind. Yeah. On, on, she on the parole, on patrol. Like, hey, man, mm-hmm. get up out of here, Damien. Mm-hmm. I already told you. If you're going to fight, you fighting outside. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I'm going to kick his nigga ass right here. No, you're not. And then Tyrone was like, man, what's going on, man? And he's trying to get Deidre to chill out. Yeah. And dude, just fire on Tyrone for no reason. Fired on Tyrone. Bomb fire. That that's how it started. Yeah, he wanted to get at. So once he fired on Tyrone, Coach mm-hmm. Chiefs jumps, jumps yeah. at that jumps. I'm no about hesitation. Now. 
Yeah, I'm on your no hand hesitation. now, Damon. Yep. So now Damon and and, and uh and Coach Damon and Coach Heath are squabbing now. Mm -hmm. Tyrone pissed off. He got sock in the mouth. He mm -hmm. about to get involved too. Yeah. DJ like, nah, man, chill. Mm -hmm. Don't fight up in my mom's house. And, hey, man, this nigga sock me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck you right. Mean? right. 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 Yeah, it's over. I'm about to I'm about to put hands on this nigga too. Mm -hmm. And so uh, they get the squabbling, man. Now the party's cracking. Yeah. Now niggas is oh, are we fighting? We fighting now. Okay, boom. Mm-hmm. Pooter trying to find the rest of the crew. Yeah. All right. So he's like, where real preacher at? So preaching in the room with, with Brenda. With Brenda. Work work working. Working the on her, man. Yeah. Finally getting finally getting some progress yeah. going. Yeah. And yo, preacher, man, they out there fighting. Who? Coach Chase. Mm -hmm. Is there no no, they out there fighting. Mm -hmm. He said, who? He was, no, he said he didn't say who yet. He said, "Is there another way out of here? Yeah, to get up out of here." First instinct was to exit. He said, he said "Nah, man, it's Coach Chase, man. They, they, they everybody going crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn! <laughs> now he's like, ah, oh, yeah, God, yeah. My, my 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 main homeboy is out there getting active. I got to be on that. I got to be on that. So yeah. that's what. So we realized preacher not a fighter, mm -hmm. but he's not a hundred percent Buster. Yeah, he's loyal. You know what I'm saying he's loyal. He, you know, it's almost like he hulked himself up when yeah. it got time to go out. Because that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Chicago, this is the '60s, man. We here and we here, bro. If the homie's in trouble, I gotta mm -hmm. be there, yeah, whether I like it or not. And so that ass whooping on Damon was very important. It was very key, bro. Very, 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 very key. Because then you know, from there we go to you know. Some joy riding with Stone and Robert, mm -hmm. right? And let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. So, so the the plot thickens with the whole. Does that happen the same night? Uh, it's hard to tell because it it, it, it kind of, uh, I, I it does. No, Cause, cause, yeah, it does. Yeah, because 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 they were it talking does. about what time they had left the party. Because they, when they, when, they, when they was talking to the police, when the police was interrogating them, and they both had different stories. He said one. Yeah, Coach one said, said three. Said three. You said you took the L. No, Coach, he said one. Preacher said three. Preacher said three. Right. So so they leave the party. They now out they, on the block. On the block, chilling, smoking, yeah. mm -hmm. trying to figure out what's next. What's next? The party. And so when Willie pull up, hey, what's up with the party, man? Why y'all not at Deidre's? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, Deidre's got broken up, man. We just chilling. We on the block now. We chilling. Mm -hmm. We trying to figure out what's next. Yeah. Cool. So now it's Tyrone, Preacher, Pooter, and Willie, mm -hmm. and Coach Cheese. They on the block. Chilling In front outside, of Martha's. Outside of Martha's. Oh, still open. Still open. Mar <laughs> Martha's. <laughs> Martha's never quits, right? Man. Right, right. Martha getting she getting that bread. Yeah, yeah. Martha making money. Martha out there, making man. bread. Out yeah, there. Mm -hmm. yeah. She, and, and she know the niggas. She know the, the wrong niggas be in there too. But yeah. She let them be in there until it's too late. Until it's like, okay, now it's time for y'all to go. She let me get this. Let me get this motherfucking uh, uh, what was it the uh the cleaver? Mm -hmm. She get the cleaver. She get that cleaver out. It's That's time for y'all to leave. You you watch the John Wick movies? I did, of course. So like, you know how like the. Uh, what do they call that? That that place, the Continental, the, the hotel, Continental, yeah. right? You, you everybody comes in the Continental. You obey by the rules yeah. of the Continental, and the rules of the Continental are: ain't no fighting, ain't no fighting, ain't no work, ain't yeah. no killing inside the Continental. Right. That's what Martha's was. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like yeah. you know, you come in, you abide by the rules of Martha. I don't care if you're a gangster. Yeah. Pimp player. Ain't no gambling in Every here. Year. Ain't no fighting in here. And if you gamble, don't let me catch you. Don't let me catch if you. If I catch you, it's done. So, so they're in front of Martha's, and Stone and Robert pull up. Yeah, and and the, and the G ride, and the G ride is chilling. You know, which is I think obviously stolen. Right. Coach Cheese has no problem because Coach Cheese ain't got no beef with Stone and Robert. Nah, at, at that point, Coach Cheese, Stone and Robert didn't have no beef with them. They was just the hoods. Yeah, these are the these are the uh, the square dudes that mm -hmm. just want to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. We out here, we are, we on a different agenda. Yeah. yeah. If it's a car to be stolen, we're gonna steal it. Yeah. If it's some drugs to be sold, we're gonna sell it. We're gonna sell it. If it's something to be jacked, we're gonna jack it. Pause. I mean, preach preach did break them of their money. You know, but yeah. that's dice, right? Like, yeah. you know, that, that's that's not like like they were still down to have them hop in the car. They were still down yeah. to see what was up. It wasn't like beef between them. No right? beef. No beef. But you know, um, so Cochise hops in the whip. You know, they, you know, preach you ain't scared. Preach hops in the whip. Mm -hmm. The other homies was Tyrone, clear. Tyrone. No, Pete. And uh, once again, Tyrone and Willie, they're not chumps. Yeah. They're like, but yeah, we rock with uh with Stone and Robert mm -hmm. to a degree. We not hop They in a the hot car, bro. Right. We not doing we're that. We not doing that. We'll ditch school. Mm -hmm. We'll smoke a little weed. Mm -hmm. We'll drink a little wine. Mm -hmm. But we not going to grant that auto. Yep. We know how, we know how far we going to go. That ain't us. And, and Coach Cheese ain't tripping. Yeah. Coach Cheese ain't tripping. Which is crazy. Nigga, Coach Cheese used to be smarter than that, bro. 
you know, it's interesting because they was out. They had been drinking. They was high. He looking for a good time. And Coach Jesus is on top of the world. He on top of the world. Yeah. Right? Like, he on yeah. top of the world. So, yeah. in, in, in his, I just mopped Damon ass. I just whooped Damon's ass. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm going to roll with you. I'm untouchable. Ain't no, That's what it was. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm un- untouchable. I'm untouchable. I'm over here. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the Loretta Brown's booty cheeks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm beating up her dude. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm the man. I'm untouchable. The homies, women, the, the, the cool dudes the, 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 that, that just stole a nice ass Impala. Want to roll with me? Cadillac. They're like, hey, bro, y'all rocking? Mm-hmm. You ain't scared, right? I'm yeah. Coach Cheese. Of course yeah. I ain't scared. Man, preach. Come on, man. My uncle was a hustler out here. Yeah. In these streets. Man, <laughs> you know the mean? Like, uncle, you know, man. Jimmy Lee. Yeah. You know, Jimmy Lee. Yeah. I, I know the, yeah. I, I, I got the streets. Got I'm covered out here. Right. So I'll go roll with you. You know what right. I mean? And everything was rolling smooth. They was having fun. Stolen Robert genuinely fucked with them. Yeah. He like, hey, bro, you want to drive? Yeah. Come on, drive, bro. Yeah. Go I ahead. Mean, I mean, Preach that couldn't drive. He couldn't drive. Talking that shit about the Maserati and all of that yeah. or whatever. Um, and so even- Coach, he's called him out. He said, bro, I've been known you since he was eight. Yeah. I ain't never seen you drive nothing but no, your feet, bro. No, no Maserati. Maserati. <laughs> no Maserati. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right. Um, but they joy riding. Of, you know, they get the attention of the police. Yeah. You know, that part was, was you know, fun. The police chase. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. Uh, my favorite part is after the police chase, they they hit the car. My man, whip blast. Whip blast. Whip blast. Come on, bro. <laughs> whip blast. And that's all. Oh, yeah, that was his only line yeah, that he repeated so, 35 and he times. Gave it, he gave it 100%. Whip blast. Whip blast. Whip blast. Whip blast. <laughs> whip blast. <laughs> right. So then we go from there to more of them just kind of hanging out, like, you know, um, we should probably talk about Mr. Mason at some point. Mr. Mason. You know what I mean? Like, you know, um, getting introduced to him. He's a, the the teacher that cares. Yeah. He's from he's the hood. The, he's the Mr. Butler. Yes. You know what I'm saying? 100%. It's the parallels, man. The 100%. Mr. Butler from Men's Society. Yes. The uh, He's also um, Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Williams. Yes. From Higher Learning. Yes. Lawrence he's, Fishburne's he's character. He's that type of character. He's the guy that people respect, they like, and mm-hmm. they also fear a little bit yep. because he ain't no punk. He ain't no punk. He's from the streets. He'll tell Damon. He told hey, Damon, take your glasses off. Bring me five, throw you around this hallway. Yeah, bounce you off them lockers. I bounce you off them lockers, man. <laughs> right. Like, right, yeah. right. Yeah. He's, he's legit. And everybody respected him. You know, Damon, these my glasses on my face. He was like, listen, man. Take them glasses off. Before I bounce you off. Before I bounce you off these lockers. <laughs> and he saw his, saw his eyes and said, man, put them back on. Put them back on. I'm yeah. sorry, but I, you toe up. You toe up. You've already, you already been bounced. Yeah, you already been bounced. You're out here yeah. in these streets fighting. Get in class, man. We get Mr. Mason, you know what I mean? And, and uh, you know, that piece, which is which is good because it comes to a to an important part. Um, you know, the boys continue to be boys. They... In terms of like getting some money to go to the movies, mm-hmm. the the game that they ran on the on the hookers. But before that, that's dope as fuck. Yeah, uh, he wanted Coach Cheese. He, he asked Coach Cheese, "Man, where's Preacher? Where's Preacher? Why he missed class?" Mm-hmm. He's like, "I don't know, Mr. Mason." Mm-hmm. So he went and found Coach Cheese. He went and found Preacher in the upstairs bathroom while all the niggas be in the gambling. No, and that happened later. That happened later. That happened later. Yeah, and I, and I'll tell you why. Um, yeah, that happened after the movies. It, it, it happened after the movies. Okay, right. Okay. Um, so at the movies, you know, they they see how much money all of them kind of got. How much you got, man? I got fifty cent. Fifty yeah. cent. Yeah, yeah. They was and they was trying to. They was going to ask Pooter out, and Pooter was like, "Listen, y- y'all ain't going to the movies with, without, without me, without my money. Right? I got money. I'm going to the movies. Yeah. So the con that they ran on the, on the prostitutes was perfect. Yeah." And I, I just love, I love how casually they was calling bitches. You know? In front of themselves. In front of them. <laughs> you bitches out here. Some, how much? How much? $20. $20. $10. Ten. He said, he said 10 Mm-hmm. And she was quick to pay that 10 Yeah. And she pulled, she pulled him over here. Listen, let me talk to you, man. Let me talk. To, I just got out the joint. Just, yeah. Yeah. Y'all don't look like no police officers. That's right, baby. On purpose. Yeah. They hired us on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Undercover. Yeah, that's great. The Long Ranger, right? <laughs> like, the Long you know? Ranger on the, on, the, on the shield. Yeah. On the, on the little uh, badge. That was perfect. They ran off. Yeah, that was perfect. We yeah. get to we get to the movie theater, which very much reminded me of like the movie scene from uh, 
Last uh, Dragon. From the Last Dragon. Mm -hmm. You know, the gang stood up. The gang. Well, man, Vice the Lord. GDs. Vice Lords. Yeah, GDs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. They well, fight. Hey, man, why don't you sit down and shut up? Yeah. Who said that? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Why don't you sit down? Why don't you come down here and yeah. make me? Yeah, yeah. Homie, mm -hmm. uh, homie in the theater, even if Pooter was like, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. He did steal on homie, like, right, like, like, just stole on him. <laughs> Next thing we know, we rumbling in the movie theater. Right. That shit was great. That was and great. And Porter, man, and that and that all happened once again. Coach Cheese, bro. Yeah. Just let him sit down, let man. Him, yeah. Sit, yeah. Sit somewhere else. Yeah. And now because of that, he bumping into people and da da da, -da, -da, -da. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, coach, that part with Coach Cheese. So from there, I think we get to uh, Preach Smashes Brenda. Oh, man. So he finally get he's not letting Brenda go. Yeah. He got a hat up. He out he out he and, out in, in the streets wooing Brenda. And the first time he saw Brenda, um, he told Coach Cheese, hey man, I got a hat at. Yeah. He said, Man, you ain't never get no bitch that fine. Yeah. That <laughs> nigga said, they say bitch so yeah. casually. Yeah, so casually. I mean, and, 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 and respectfully. Yeah. I mean, you never get a bitch that fine. Yeah. yeah no, no, never. He says, uh, what you mean, man? I'm going to get that. He said, a dollar says you can't. Mm hmm A bet. dollar? Yeah. Bet. Boom. So now, not only does he really like her, but he also thinks he's trying to get some bread. He's trying yeah. to hustle some cheese out of Coach Cheese. Yeah. I think he even, I even think he forgot about it. Like, I think that, like, he genuinely fell in love with Brenda. He wanted her, man. She mm. was smart. She was educated. And she wasn't for the streets. Yeah. That's what you need, those type of girls, yeah. man. And then she's end up liking him. Yeah. They taking long walks on the train tracks. On the train tracks. This is Chicago. This is this Ain't no is beaches. Some thug love. Ain't no parks. Yeah. Ain't no parks you need to be in. They, they walking around. They they stepping over uh, syringes. Yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? They and, in the sticks. And small baggies of cocaine <laughs> yep, yep. and shit. But they wooing. They in love. Yeah, and man. And he get her back. And uh, Brenda, Brenda took off her dress, got in the bed, and said, listen- I ain't never done this before. I forgot to tell you. Mm -hmm. I ain't never done nothing like this before. Yeah, but For but real? but was still about it. But 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 was looking at him. She was like, "Man, you can't even like can't you even kiss me right?" Yeah, but you already wooed me. Yeah, so I'm gonna take my dress off myself. Yeah, I'm gonna take my dress. I'm All committed right. to this. Yeah, I want this. And the, here's the thing, man. And and you know now we've grown. Mm -hmm. Girls be wanting it just as bad as guys. The mm -hmm. thing is, if not more. But the girls, they wanted to a dude, they want to do it to a guy that they like. Yes. A young nigga in high school, he just a girl that's ready and willing. Yeah. I'm with it. He's just trying to smash. Yeah. The girls, they want it with a guy they like. Yeah. Really. They want to feel good about afterwards. Yeah. You know it's what I'm like, saying? like, it's right here. It's almost kind of like a, like a breakaway layup in basketball. Mm -hmm. Like all you gotta do. Is just dribble the ball down the court. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Not none of this. No, we don't need none of that. You know what I mean? Easy like too. you know, and just score the layup. Mm -hmm. Like it's right there. And 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 our boy preach was almost double dribbling and almost traveling. It was right there. Right. But she helped him. Yeah. She took the clothes off. She laid down. Lay got up down. under the cover. Took off her big ass panties. They was huge. <laughs> they was huge. Them Brenda had some big ass drawers. That was some man. girdle shit right man. there. <laughs> that was some girdle drawers. But but even still, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I was like, is, man. And it's so relatable, bro. The first yeah. time you about to get a crack and you look around, you're like, oh, this is really happening. Yeah. I remember the first time, man. I was like, oh, I'm really about to smash. It's about to happen. It's just not even like this. Mm -hmm. is, this is not even like no question now. Yeah. It's happening. It's happening. Like we, he kept looking over. He was like, "Yeah, oh wow, okay, it's happening." My the work I put in is finally yeah. paying off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did you think that Preach was a virgin too? The way he acted, you would think so, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, he acted like a virgin, so I yeah. would think maybe so. I mean, it it does like he was so thirsty too. He was so thirsty, like. You know, like, even the way he was like, he was making out in the, in, the, in the stairway earlier. He probably was a virgin. I bro. think he probably was a virgin. She admitted it to him. He didn't want to keep it real and admit it to her. Right. Right. Like you know, like mm. I I think that was the case. Yeah. Be yeah. Because um, 
Coach Chiefs was like, Coach Chiefs didn't have no faith in him. That's his best friend. Yeah. But you saw how Tyrone handled Deidre. Mm-hmm. Tyrone was smooth with us. Very Coach Chiefs like. Smooth. Hey, come on, let me just get yeah. close to you. Yeah. Let me talk to you over here. Even was like, yeah, Mac number 14 always works. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, yeah. like, <laughs> it's had his almanac on it. Yeah. yeah. But see, everything, even when the girl is willing, mm -hmm. he was still clumsy, preacher. Yes. You know what I'm saying? She's like, you might want to take your glasses off. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. You headbutting me, bro. Right, right, right. God damn, nigga, just take it easy. You know, you in the wrong place. So I'm accidentally kneeing you in the balls. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, like, right. it's clumsy, but he still got it, though. Yeah, she kneed him in the balls. And then he started talking high light, like mm -hmm. his voice. Yeah, you did, man. What's I'm okay. Right? Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. Making him laugh. <laughs> right. And she says, okay, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Don't have to. You don't got to chill. Matter of fact, I'll take my own dress off. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. Yeah. Just chill. Just relax. Get your clothes off. I'm going to get mine off. And I'm going to sneak back into the bed. Top tier. Little whore. Top tier. And you got to love it. Top tier. You got to love it, bro. Top she did tier. her thing. She Oof. sat in there. She got under the covers and pulled them up. Mm -hmm. Real Alicia from uh, the woods. style. Yeah. Uh, innocently. Yep. I wanted like a little innocent baddie. Mm -hmm. Uh and they, they did that thing. Yep. They did. They got it cracking. Um, they had. <laughs> that's funny. It's a high school film. Mm -hmm. They had a little sex scene with the music yeah. going and yeah. shit. A little, yeah, you know, a little, little silhouette. Little... Hey, she was low key thick under under them, them bloomers. She was. I thick. said, hey, that's a nice little hip she, she got on. Was fucking fine. I'm trying hey, to tell Brenda, you. Brenda had it all. Brenda was fine. Brenda was 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 studious, mm -hmm. classy, and still had a little a little yeah, trash. Because even after trash. she was like. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. Did he she said, "Maybe." Uh -huh. And you're gonna be embarrassed, girl. <laughs> and he was still awkward. Yeah, he was. <laughs> hey, he was breathing all weird. Yeah. I said, "Hey, yeah. man. Yeah, you got the panties. You just stop good. being weird, bro." And tricked it off with the. Oh, what did I tell Coach Chiefs? Man, mm -hmm. I won. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Yeah. She got the fuck up out of there. Got quick. up out of there, man. Quick, quick, he quick, was quick. Like, it's, it's not like that. No, nah, nigga, you just said what it was like, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought you was different. Yeah. Girls just want you to be different. Tricked hey, man. Off. High school niggas, man. Just be different, Just man. be different. Yeah. Just, just be, be cool. Different. Just be cool, man. And usually being cool is different. Yeah. Because like, high school kids, high school boys ain't cool. Yeah. They trying to be too cool, and they end up being just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I should say, you just like everybody else. I thought you was different. Brenda was a baddie. She didn't even want Coach Cheese. That's one thing I liked about Brenda. That's so interesting. All, all the girls wanted Coach Cheese when he walked into the room. And she looked at him and looked away. Dude, you, that's such a great point. I yeah. never even thought about that. When you say not for the streets as a person, it's true. And the streets included Cochise. Oh, yeah. She wasn't like, she didn't ever even bat it She was cool eye. with him. She knew she him. She was cool with him. Yeah. But wasn't like, I'm not about to be one of your little conquests. Right. 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 It's not going to happen, bro. Right? Not going to happen. And I think, and Cochise is so smooth. Mm -hmm. He knew that. Yeah. They was all, even was like, when they, was, never get a chick like that. that even far. when they was at the locker, they was teasing her. Like they was walking past, like Miss, you know, Miss, yeah, Miss, Miss Too Good, Miss, Miss Too Good, Miss Better for Everybody, uh -huh. da, da 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 da. That was her reputation. <laughs> like, Even when, do you remember? Uh, I forget. Oh yeah, it was at the party mm -hmm. when he went to the kitchen to mess with her. She was to get a drink, and she he said the wrong shit again. Yeah, and uh, Coach Chiefs was at the doorway of the kitchen, and mm -hmm. she walked past him. He was like, "Yep, yep." I, I I'm not gonna even try. I ain't got nothing for this. I, and he knew. He knew. I'm. I, I hey, she out my league. Yeah. Man. And yeah. I'm coach cheese. And I'm coach cheese. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a real player knows, man. Like, that's hey, great. man, you know what? <laughs> that's great. I, yeah. Yeah. That's you, great. You no know one to hold him. No one to fold him. That's great. He hit him with this. Like, hey, you doing your thing, mm -hmm. girl? I ain't mad at you. And let me go get the Loretta. Yeah. So a couple little important things happen. Okay. After preach tricks it off, mm -hmm. and. You know, admits it was the bet. Brenda cuts him off. He runs into Brenda at the school and tries to, you know, yeah. give her give her some bullshit. I blacked out, right? Like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah. come on, I'll tell you about this condition I have. I blacked out. I get excited. I blacked yeah. out. And I, you, can't, you can't hold me responsible mm -hmm. for nothing I say after that. Yeah, you know, yeah. bullshit. But then she peeps his other piece. Yeah. Walking down. The hallway. The hallway. Gives him some kiss, mm -hmm. basically plays him. Mm -hmm. You know, let me show your girl. That's for last night, bastard. Yeah. Boom. She said, bastard, bastard so sexy nigga. Bastard. I said, oh shit, I she got some... spice to her. And so, you know what I'm saying? So now, so now, uh, you know, preacher's other <laughs> baby girl, girl uh, baby girl came up. She hit. She... What's what, what's that? What is that? Right? He didn't have nothing. He didn't have nothing, man. This is a very important scene. Okay, so now we get to. 
These guys get called into the police come. They in school. In they class. in school. They the, in class. The detectives come up in the class. Come in the class, grab them, grab Cochise, Preach, Stone, Stone and, and Robert, Robert, interrogation about the, the stolen car. You know, their stories ain't matching up or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Mason comes up. Mr. Mason. He's got a relationship. He's smoking reefer with the detective. He went to high school with Mm -hmm. the detective. Hot take. Uh Uh-oh. This is a hot take. Wait, wait, wait. This shit is also low-key Mr. Mason's fault. Oh yeah, that coach. Okay. He's, that 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 coach. Okay. He's, you know what I mean? Like yeah. he's the hero. He's the you know he's the great. And he should have known better. He should have known that the streets was not going to let coaches and preach out by keeping Stone and Robert in. That ain't he's smarter well. than that. Come on, bro. He's smarter than that, right? He, he, like he you dropped know, the ball. He really dropped the ball on being able to pluck, you know what I mean? And I even appreciate what he said. See if you can lower the charges to to, to a joy ride, ride or man. something nah, like nah, that nah. or whatever. He, he, he was trying to get Stone and Robert out too. He was trying to get Stone and Robert out too, but but he really effort. dropped the ball because he had to know what the streets was going to say about the fact that, that, that Cochise and Preach got out and Stone and Robert stayed in. Right. And that was big. That was big. Stone said, you know, I ain't got to tell you who told, right? You, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Right? And so now at that point, they get, you know, they get out. They, they homies, like, everybody starts to shift on them a little bit. You it's know? It's the hood, man. It's hey, the hood. Don't nobody like a snitch. Even, even Tyrone, which, which was his boy, was Tyrone. like, you know, we don't hold. Tyrone hope. told Willie. Mm-hmm. Willie was like, what's up, Coach Chief? What mm-hmm. I preach? He said, nah, man. Mm-hmm. We don't hang out with dudes that, uh, that's telling their homeboys. Yep. Yep. Hey man, what you talking about, man? That ain't happened. That's not what happened, bro. Mm-hmm. Willie turned. He went from this to yeah. Oh, you a sucker? You a sucker? Oh yeah. And then everybody, and then there go Damon and Stone and Robert gonna kick your ass when they see you. Damon been waiting. Yes, this is the opening. Damon, you mocked me about a three, four days ago at mm-hmm. the house party. Mm-hmm. I've been waiting for this. This is the opening. I've been waiting yeah. on. I've mm-hmm. been waiting on. Um. So now it's set up that like coaches and preacher are are snitches. Um, but then that bathroom scene mm-hmm. that you alluded to earlier, this is when Mr. Mason and Preach get to finally connect. Mm-hmm. And after preaching there being an asshole, like, you know, just a I wanna live forever. Right? Yeah. Like, you know, that bullshit. That's Idiot. when Mr. Mason reveals that, like, you know, Are you, you I got you out. Yeah. I'm you saying, know, like gonna, yeah. If I was gonna waste my time, I ain't want I don't want my time wasted. Yeah, next time you get in trouble, don't call me. Yeah. Don't explain. We didn't do nothing for you. Boom. You the one that got us out? Yeah. Boom. Okay, boom. Bad. This is the information we need. So, Preacher's running around town. You know what I mean? Like, you know, runs into Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. No, no. Uh, who's a, um, Coach East is a... Jimmy Lee. Jimmy Lee. Jimmy Lee. Yeah. Runs into Jimmy Lee. Yeah, uh, uh, Coach East's uncle. Yeah. You know, you seen Coach East? Yeah. He took a little girl up. Uh, uh, he in my apartment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he took a little thing up there. To do a little thing. So they run over there or whatever. It opens the door. And this is where it got crazy. The Coach East fuck is fucking his, his, his ex. Let's say her name is Sandra. Used to go with her. Yeah. Yeah. Coach kind of fouled for that. Is Coach, he? Is he? Yeah. He is. Yeah. Even though, nah, yeah. I don't, it, it don't matter. We know that, we know, uh, yeah, it's, and I saw her mm-hmm. when we saw them together at the school. He, they was holding hands at the I school. I said, "Huh, uh huh." Go cheap, what you doing, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even, even if that's like, well, he's 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 shady for that, but he he's also coach cheats. And so he might be like, "Bro, I, I I thought it was just yeah, I thought it was up for grabs because you didn't moved on to Brenda. You with Brenda, so so." So yeah, I mean like he's still shady for it's, it's it's that's, gray, that's bro it's, code. it's gray area, it's bro code. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you know, um, you don't mess with a you, you don't mess with your homeboy's ex. Yeah, especially in in such proximity. Right. Uh, Preach was a little bit in his feelings about it. I should have been. You know, f- yeah. Because at that point, that was a Dave Allen Greer, Marcus Grand moment. Tr- true. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you gotta have all the girls, Marcus. Y- yeah, you gotta have them all. Uh-huh. But e- but even even Jimmy Lee was like, you in here tripping over some, some bitch. bitch? <laughs> she, she right was here. here. <laughs> it was cheap. It was so that cold. That part was so cold. Ja. Jimmy Lee was a, but he, he, it wasn't even like, he wasn't trying to be disrespectful. Yeah. He, that's just how the, that's the how world it was. was. It yeah. was like, no, 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 no. You, you can't be mad at my, my nephew over some bitch. 
We can't. You can't do that. She hadn't even put her clothes back on before. Before she was calling her a bitch. You laughing about? You tripping over some bitch? Get out of here! Come on, man. You, <laughs> yeah, you violation. She nigga. literally was was one show. <laughs> Damn. That was so cold. And Coach Chiefs was trying to explain. Yeah, all right, yeah. All right, man. So from there, he, so he never got to tell Coach Chiefs. The mm-hmm. reason why we got free was Mr. Mason. Because right? he got pissed off, mm-hmm. and instead of talking to him about it, mm-hmm. he walked off. Preach goes to Martha's. Mm-hmm. Damon is there. You know what I mean? Chilling. Mean mugging. Uh-huh. He has a conversation, gets to like, you know, get some shit popping Ask with Brenda. Him, yeah, can I talk to you? She's mm-hmm. like, okay. Guess who comes in? Stone and Robert. Stone and Robert. And yeah. Martha's. Yeah. And Damon, hey, Preach. Yeah, yeah. Which leads to what my what are my great scenes when he's in the bathroom with the girl. Get out! Get out! Get out, you get out of here! Hey man. <laughs> yeah, what'd you get? She, uh, uh, his thing. What was she doing? Was she peeing? She, she was. Or, or she? Uh, I, think she I think she was peeing. I think she was, she was peeing because she didn't wipe when she stood she didn't up. Wipe. <laughs> right. I said, but yeah. In her defense mm-hmm. was she so panicky that she just well, normally because even if you did peeing, you still got to wipe. Yeah, yeah. You got to wipe. I, I think the the. The circumstances, you know what I mean? Like, you know, but you get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, don't, don't open. Don't I don't look. want nobody to see me like don't this. Look. Yeah, yeah. Just turn around. Yeah. Turn and she around. stood up and pulled the crease. Damn, girl. It's a damn. <laughs> girl, preach. <laughs> preach. Even in, even in that even situation. Even in despair. Yeah, he was hey, great. He had, yeah, because, yeah. man, she stood up. I said, damn, she told him. Yeah, yeah. She, she was yeah. a little stallion. Um, uh-huh. He preached sneaks out, Stone Robert, chasing. No, he asked uh, Brenda, I mean, Martha. Yeah. Can you open it the back the side please, door for me, please? Please, Martha. Martha, come on now. Yeah. She accommodated. She, she opened that side. Mm-hmm. Martha is still. She understands. You know what I'm saying? Martha yeah. knows what's up. Right. Martha Martha needs to run her establishment. She knows she's dealing with kids. Mm-hmm. She knows she's dealing with teenagers. Right. This is not the first time that teenage. Yeah. S- riff raff. Riff raff then, then ran up in, yeah. in the spot. She'd have to police now, That's shit. why she got that cleaver. That's what that, She uses the cleaver. She's been using that cleaver for years. To reset authority, right? Like, you know, this this is my spot. You can get up out, mm-hmm. and I will cleave your ass if I need to. Yeah, for right? sure. But, like, but I'll let you in the next I, I, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Come <laughs> like, back. Yeah. Leave now. You leave back. now. Come back tomorrow. Like, right. you know, you ain't, ain't nobody permanently banned from this bitch. Right. But- if you're gonna be in here, you better be acting Come right. Correct. Yeah. You gotta go to that. Yeah. Right. So Stoner Robert his... chasing, preach through the streets. Before that, mm-hmm. he tells Brenda, meet me at meet the L train. Meet me at the L train. 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, you know, zigzag, rip and run. He gets with with Brenda on the train because he because he's able to dodge. Not yet. Because mm. he's 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 still running from Stone and Robert. Yeah, he, he hopped in the trash can. Yeah, he hopped in the trash and he, can. And, and so while he's doing all that, mm-hmm. Coach Chiefs runs up on yeah, Brenda. Yeah. Have you seen Preach? Yeah. He wanna apologize. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm he wanna talk to him. Said, nah, I saw him, but uh Stone yeah. and Robert came in and Stone and Robert. Yeah. They out? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and Coach Chiefs took right off. Oh, uh, he took off sprint. No hesitation. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, that's my partner. That's my, my partner. partner. Yeah. Then he meets up with uh, uh with Brenda at the L yeah. train. They end up on the L train. They get on the train. Brenda reveals like Coach Cheese came by looking for you. Oh, man. Later, Later for, for Coach Cheese, right? Later for Coach Cheese. Well, I look like he was serious. You know, I told him. You know, the Stone and Robert that came in, and Stone and Robert. He knew. It, 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 Stone and Robert. Oh, oh, he knows about Stone and Robert. Yeah. Yeah. And he was. And, and he, he came out looking for me. He, yeah. He's, and he took off running looking for you. Yeah. He said, "Oh man." Baby, I gotta go. I gotta go. I explained it to you later. Brenda. Yeah, <laughs> right. With his little voice. I'll call you later tonight. I'll call you later tonight. She's a bit. Yeah, man, gets he out. Took off. Cause at that point, like I said, man, mm-hmm. the homies got your back. You gotta have their back, yeah. bro. And, no matter and, what. And he didn't hesitate in that situation. Yeah, he got off. You know, was sprinting. Was 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 running. Uh, Stone and Robert was was fucking up Cochise, but they wasn't gonna kill him. They was beating his ass. They was beating his for ass for snitching, but they wasn't gonna kill him. And it was damn. We got to. Yeah, we gotta fuck you up. We bro. gotta fuck you up. We for was this. doing wrong together. Yeah, and we didn't get out together. Yeah, y'all got yeah. out and y'all left. Could be there. a misunderstanding. Yeah, but take this face. We ain't got. We about to pack. We about you to out. whoop your ass. Yeah, right. That's it. It's Damon who after that Stone and Robert personal. that hit that was personal because Stone and Robert were done. <laughs> he down there. He yeah. Fucked up. Nah, Damon picked his ass up. Uh-huh. Nah, when he was defenseless, basically. Yep. yep. Stone, Stone and Robert were done. They had they had put in the work that they needed to put on and they backed off. But here was Damon getting that get back from the party. You know, delivers 
I wouldn't say a fatal blow, but the 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 tipping point blow. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you know, Cochise hits his you know chin yeah. or head. The He's impact just, from the punch. Yeah, not, and then the impact from the the the, the steel beam. The steel beam, and he just can't recover. Yeah. Um, and then Cochise runs up on him. Fantastic acting. The way he was, the way he was, you know, crying and yelling yeah. and oh shoot, you know what I mean, like yeah. you know, and all of that. And then from there we go, help, help, help you know, the, the train and then the train drowned him out. Just perfect. I said, damn, just perfect. And it's sad, like it's Super it's sad, Coach Jesus dead. You know, preaches is sorry, and then we get to the the the, 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 the him almost yeah. like symb- symbolically CPR on him. Yeah, trying to get him. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. But even before that, mm-hmm. Damon tried first kicking him. Yeah. I mean, get, get up, bro. Get up. Yeah. I mean, I'm here to whoop your ass. Stone and Robert grabbed their hats, nigga. They, they was out. <laughs> you went too far, Damon. Yeah, we out. We out of here. We out. Um, and then we get to that iconic funeral. What is so hard to say goodbye to yesterday playing. He in the bushes. He in the bushes. Behind watching, the bushes. You know, that that slow processional. You know, you, you saw to, his family. You saw his Coach family. Jesus family. Coach Jesus fam. The girls. The, all the girls. Brenda's a real one, bro. Yeah. Brenda's a real one, bro. Brenda is a real one. Yeah. She, she's She wasn't there because Preacher was there. Yeah. She was there because, oh, yeah, the homie Coach, Coach Jesus, Jesus died. And she was looking before she, before she stepped in the car, where the fuck is Preach at? Yeah. And kind of like that little disappointment, like, like, you should, like whatever, you should have been here. Yeah, he should have been there. You should have been here for that. Yeah. Like, you know, looked and she looked fine at, you know, had a little, looked, little man, cheated she, hat. She stay looking good, man. <laughs> she stay hot. Yeah. But the, what, what I loved about Brenda being so attractive is she didn't act like she was. Mm-hmm. She didn't act like she was. Like you said, like, you know, if, if you know, you know for the streets, but it was a person. Yeah. It's her. She right. was perfect. Classy. Classy. Even, even out. And so they hop in the cars, they roll out. That's when Preacher decides to. Step up. Step up. Little talk. Pooter. Pooter sees him in the, in, in the back seat. In the you know what I mean? Gives him a smile. He in the back crying. Yeah. You know, rub, rubbing his eyes, but but sees Preach. Yeah. And it's happy to know that Preach was there. Yeah. And I, lo- I love the scene at the end where Preach is talking to, yeah. um, you know, Coach Cheese. I just want to, that's one of my, fa- I think one of my yeah. favorite scenes yeah. in black movies. It, it just encap- encapsulates everything, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, and the emotional roller coaster that preach goes on, you know, in that mm-hmm. from the the way like like he kind of like gives a side eye to the to the groundskeeper, yeah, yeah. like they would do normally, like uh-huh. you know, look at this, yeah, right? Man, about it, man. You know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> to them yeah. talking, you know, putting the guy's gonna be all right, man. You know, we was yeah. last night we was smoking, we got high, yeah, high. You know, man, I mean, we're real high, yeah, real for the dudes that ain't yeah, here. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Um, that was that was Coach East's thing. Coach yeah. East was like. That's what I'm saying. He was the he was the the thinking about everybody. Mm-hmm. He's he's down for the cause, yep. bro. Yep. I don't I don't care who you are, bro. You my boy. I got your back. Yeah. Matter of fact, even if you ain't here, just for the homies who ain't here. Yep. Hey man, hey, man let them drink your part. Mm-hmm. Nah, nigga, like, me first. The kid got to drink first. Mm-hmm. But he still was like for the homies who ain't here. Yeah. This is for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote you a poem, nigga. I know you don't like poetry. You know what I mean? I still, but I still wrote you one anyway. Yeah. The poem was was beautiful. Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, it didn't rhyme. It didn't rhyme. But but and in his mind, it didn't rhyme. But but it didn't need to because I think it kind of encapsulated everything. Right. And then it gets personal, coaches. You could have been the greatest. You could have been the greatest, man. And then I love the way he was like, "I gotta go." I go. Yep. You know what I mean? Like you know, and then out. Fantastic. Because really, really, he didn't kill Coaches. Yeah. Coaches didn't die because yeah. he. Coaches died because of him. If you and, and, and uh, Mr. Morris, yeah, I mean, I mean, Mr. Mr. Uh, um, Mr. Mason, Mr. Mason, Mr. Yeah. Mason got Cochise killed, yeah, but Cochise got in that car, yeah, Cochise got Cochise you know got in that car, Cochise got in that car. Robert was like, "Yo, uh, Robert was like, yo, um, you want to drive? Yep, preach, yep." So it was a few things that led to that. Him, yeah. him driving reckless allowed them to be seen by the police, mm-hmm. and then Robert took the car and smashed off. Like I ain't going to jail. Yeah, and he kind of the cops was debating on whether or not they was going to fuck with him or not. What's so real about Cooley High in the tragic death of Coach Cheese is how little aggressions and little misunderstandings can sometimes co- you know cobble together to become a big thing. Mm-hmm. It's all these little things that happen, right? Like, you know, 
Cochise and Damon getting into the fight. You know what I mean? At at the party. Loretta. Loretta you know, Brown. Loretta Brown choosing Cochise over Damon, right? In that particular moment. The guys getting into the car with Stone and Robert, knowing that Stone and Robert is on that bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. You know, Mr. Mason intervening, right? You know, yeah. um, Cochise, you know, smashing Preacher's ex, right? Like, all of these little things add up to, like, the circumstance in which, mm -hmm. like, Cochise... You know, ultimately demise. gets killed and dies. Sad, sad, sad movie, but great movie. Super sad movie, bro. And almost, it kind of gave me low-key New Jersey Drive energy. Mm. This nigga's running around doing dumb shit for no reason. For no reason. And they got people to tell him, hey, man, chill out, yeah. bro. Do yeah. right. Yeah. Just do right. Do better. Yeah. And these niggas didn't want to do better. And and but the thing is, is is that these guys are not as dumb as the New Jersey Drive guys nah. because they were in and out of school, right? right? Like you know, like they would ditch was, school. They actually was in in Willie's bedroom trying to study, trying to at study, one point in time. trying to study. Like mm -hmm. you know, they they knew about the test, the midterm, da 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 da. You know, they would sneak out. You know, go to the zoo. You know, steal some shit, come mm -hmm. back. You know, you have uh, gorilla shit thrown at them. Gorilla shit thing. thrown at them. Laugh, joke. But, like, they were still in school. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, Cochise was going to college, right? Like, and he you know, wanted to go to college. And wanted to go to college, yeah. right? Um, so, you know, it's it's just the, the circumstances, right? And the same way, like, the, the Juice Boys weren't necessarily bad. Like, nah. you know, they made a poor decision yeah. in terms of, like, That's you know. That's what I'm saying. Why y'all robbing um, Mr. Quillis? Yeah. Like, that was a poor decision for them. But up until that point, they was just ditching school, you know, chasing girls, mm -hmm. basketball days, and high nights, high right? Nights. Right? All of that. So, um, so let's do let's do some awards real quick. Okay. Before we sprint let's get to, to the some end. awards. Who's the MVP? MVP. MVP of Cooley High. MVP of Cooley High. Coach East. Coach Ease. Yeah. Coach Ease is one of my favorite characters. And he didn't even do a whole lot. He didn't do a whole lot. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't actually. Um, but I um I dug he I, I, he's a quintessential black boy from Chicago. Mm -hmm. Tough, charming, cool. cool. Yeah, charming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um was the main popular and still humble still. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and down for his boys. Yeah. You can't ask for a better friend. You know what I'm saying? You can't ask for a better friend. Mm -hmm. not, until. Not without his flaws. Until. Yeah. Until he smashed. Uh, what's the baby? I don't know. We're we going to call, we call her. What we call her? Uh, Sandra. Sandra. Yeah, that might not have been her name. But, uh, but, but he smashed her, and that was a breach. Yeah. I understand why she smashed him. Mm-hmm. Because Brent Sandra is getting back. Are oh, you kissing no other girls in the hallway? Mm -hmm. Are you cheating on me? Are you dealing with other girls mm -hmm. outside of me? I'm about to smash your homeboy. Yep. And that's what girls do. They'll smash your homeboy, man. Mm -hmm. To get back at you for Which doing is whatever. exactly what she did. That's exactly what she did. She was she getting back. His best friend. Yeah. Not Pooter. Yeah. Not Tyrone. Not mm -hmm. Willie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to smash your best friend. I'm going to give it to Cochise. Yeah. I'm going to give it to Cochise. Yeah, Cochise definitely the, the MVP. Who's the LVP? Ooh, the LVP. Hmm. The LVP. Let's see. The LVP is uh, she's actually very important. So I can't say she's she's very invaluable to the to the to the uh show to the film. I wanted to say Loretta Brown mm -hmm. at first, but not. Nah, but she's the reason, kind of yeah. how yeah, Coach Cheese ended up getting killed at yeah. the end. Yeah, uh, probably Willie. The other homie, the other homie. yeah, the other that's homie. probably why he didn't have no. Where no, is he now? Yeah, yeah. At the yeah. end of the film, he was. I think maybe, like this is like one of the biggest like oversights ever. Yeah, I because agree. at those end credits, you know what I mean with the if you want them to the bottom, the bottom. Yeah, right, right. The, the yeah. freeze frame, the freeze frame, and then everybody and everybody gets a story. Except for him, and, and, and we showed his house and his. We brother. was in his house and never his seen brother. Tyrone stuff, <laughs> right? We never seen his crib, so so he's got to be the LVP. But he still has to be the LVP because he's still not as valuable yeah. as Tyrone that got yeah. them into he the party. He didn't do anything that like furthered along the movie. Right, Pooter has a purpose. Oh yeah, Pooter. Pooter has a purpose. Tyrone has a purpose. Right. 
Um, it's almost like 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 I'd love to like know like what happened that he didn't get no, you know, no he ain't got no future. Yeah, no future. He's got to be the LVP. You know what I mean? Like you know, to be to be a part of the crew in all those scenes. And not have Poodle got a future, but not you. Poodle working in a factory in Muncie, yeah. Indiana. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, does anybody win the overacting award? Yes. Who? Loretta Brown. Loretta Brown. Um, mm-hmm. I was going. I'm probably your biggest fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she got up. It was dancing. Now sometimes I know you can be grinding on the dance floor, but she sounds. She was out there looking like she was <laughs> shooting off, man. Yeah, like she was out there puddling in them draws. She. <laughs> yeah so th- so this one is an interesting take and this is odd i hope i'm gonna try to explain it correctly the overacting award goes to what i said loretta is gonna be funny mm-hmm. but if, if you really want to break it down the overacting award probably goes to preacher yes <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying yes yes, yes. oh my god and it's only because He's like arguably the best actor in the movie, yes. and everybody else is very amateurish. Uh-huh. But it comes across as believable. I mean, it looked like they poached them guys right off the block, right? right. Like you know, like listen, I need you to come play Stone. Hey man, you look like Stone you can play Robert. And Robert look like they in their they act look, a day in their life. They look like literally somebody pulled up and like y'all niggas hiring, right? Like you know, yeah. <laughs> like fuck, I doing over here. Well, what's but, up with all the lights? But they all like. Damn near everybody in the movie looks so authentic. Like yes. Cochise is obviously the, the, the most handsome. Yeah. You know what I mean? The other crew. He's he's the, the actor, the 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 the, yeah. the star. You know, pre, but everybody else looks so Cabrini Ooh. Green. They yeah. look so Chicago. And of course, Brenda. Um but, you know, but aside from that, but like the fact that that <laughs> that Preach has to do so much, you know, in this movie, uh just yeah. like kind of gives him the so overactive award, and, and he has so many arrays of emotions yeah. that he has to go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, he definitely gets the overactive yeah. award because yeah. he he was uh, his facial expressions. Yeah, too much. I blacked out. Uh, right, like uh, you know, whew. just too much. Um, like um, him uh, fluffing the pillows, getting ready to smash Brenda. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. yeah, he's <laughs> always doing too always. much. Always, even the way he was uh, sprinting when he was sprinting away from Stone and Robert. Right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, yeah. yeah, just you know, yeah. there was a lot of running in this movie. By the way, a lot of running. Um, also, uh, before we get to the to the fist, um, despite being one of the great greatest black characters, Cochise's follow through was real whack. Right. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. yeah. Swish. 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 Yeah. You know, maybe not that's this. How they, yeah. Maybe that's how they were shooting in the 70s. Yeah. Um, the 60s. Right. Right. 60s. So maybe, maybe we'll, yeah. we'll stall him out. But yeah. I now gotta, I got to go see some Earl Monroe. Hey, yeah. That, uh, that, that jumper good. didn't translate. <laughs> yeah. That's dog. hilarious. <laughs> Cute off finish. Uh, <laughs> he, was, he was a bruh from, yeah, uh, from uh, Beta Chapter. Early bruh. <laughs> Not Beta Chapter. Beta, uh, what's the BG? I think uh, the, the Chicago Chapter. Oh, yeah. man. Um, okay, so let's get to the fist. Fist. The fist? Scale of one to five. What's Cooley yeah. High? There wouldn't be no, there wouldn't be no uh, juice. Mm-hmm. Because he had the same, you have friends growing up in high school. Yeah. And some certain people dying. Yeah. There's tragedy in this uh, inner city. You got Chicago. Mm-hmm. You got New York. You got boys in the hood in yeah. LA. Yeah. Men's society in LA. Same situation. We're very similar situations. So they're the. I, I think uh, we haven't talked about uh, cornbread. We ain't, got, we ain't got no cornbread. We'll yet. get to that. Right. But for the for the most part, outside of cornbread, Earl is like Earl. Uh, Cornbr- cornbread Earl and me. C- uh-huh. Cornbread Cornbread Earl and me. Um, it's the Cooley High. Yeah. Those two movies right there. There's a few other ones. Yeah. Got the Warriors and all that stuff uh-huh. like that, but like Cooley High, Cooley, is, the Cooley High is the Cooley High is Fast Times at Richmond High. Yeah. It's Juice. It's uh the Wood. It's the Wood. And, you know, nobody dies in the Wood. Yeah. But still. Yeah. Excuse me. It's Men's Society, Boys in the Hood. There it's wouldn't the, be those movies without this it's, five. It's like the this. Brothers. It's it's, it's the brothers. New Jersey Drive. New Jersey right. Drive. Like you know. It's all of it. It's it's um, literally the prototype. Uh, just that the girl on the R uh, uh, on the R I T. Yeah, on the I. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. that. Oh, I haven't yes. thought about that movie in forever. Me, I gotta go back and watch yeah. it, man. Yeah, that's coming too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So 
Cooley High is the quintessential. It's the pioneer. It's five it's black the, fists. It's five black fists. Easy. Bro. It gives you everything. It's funny. It's, it's still uh, entertaining. Is it, I watched it like this is dope. Yeah, it it dope. it it has stood the test of time, right? Like mm-hmm. you know, it is still. It doesn't feel dated, even though it is. It's, yeah, super dated, right? But like the you, music you weren't even is alive great. when it came out. Yeah, uh, the music is good. The, 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 the Motown soundtrack is good. Brenda is fun. It's still it's still a good They're showing movie. so many different types of black young men yeah. in the inner city. Yeah. Even gotta, even Jimmy's hustle with with the white G- guy. Listen, man, she Jimmy man, she Lee. a thief, man. I you know, I can't I can't I can't stop her. I can't man. stop, but she a freak. But she a freak. Listen, man, man so let me hold your money for and, you. And, and you can seal the envelope. Yeah. <laughs> Right. As soon as he went upstairs, that nigga ripped the envelope. <laughs> I said, man, Walked out. you can't be that stupid, yeah. bro. But hustle. And if you are that stupid, you should be, you, just, you deserve to be hustled. Hustle. Mm-hmm. Hustle. Yeah. Cooley High. Cooley Love Cooley High. high. Love Cooley High. Preacher. Yeah. Pooter. Pooter. Tyrone. Willie. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, Coach Cheese. Rest in peace, Coach Cheese. Co- like, you know, one day, we got to pick a, a day that, that we're happy to do this episode, but like Coach Cheese is up there is like... One one of the Ricky saddest for, Ricky from Boys in the Hood. Ricky from Boys in the Hood, like Coach Cheese. Like when Coach Cheese was lying on that ground under the bridge, I was like, "Come Damn. on!" Now, the thing is, Preacher almost ran past him. Almost ran past him, and then the, and, and then, so he saw him. He said, "Nah, oh, come on." So who whose death? That's a great question. That's whose a, death was more? Yeah, was more hard to yeah. hard to watch, man. Uh, Coach Cheese from Cooley High. Yeah. Um, Hakeem from Juice. Yeah. Uh, Ricky from Boys in the Hood. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, a little saint from You Got Served. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Deja from Higher Learning. Deja from Higher Learning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, there's a few more, but those will be going with I right think, now. I think, I think Coach Hughes' death, because you really got a chance to get to know and like Coach Hughes. Mm hmm. Right, you know, you didn't really get a chance to like Ricky. You got a chance, like, like, like. Not that we didn't like Ricky. Yeah. Not that we didn't dislike Ricky. But we just didn't spend enough time to even determine like what kind of dude Ricky is. Like, you know, we know he's cool with Trey. We know he plays football. But like, you get a chance to like get to know him, like Doughboy, a little bit more than Ricky. We got, but a we chance, really got a yeah. chance to get to know Coach Cheese. Yeah, we saw Coach Cheese was solid. Yeah, and um. Coach Easton and Hakeem. Mm-hmm. Hakeem was yeah. even more likable. They, they, it's, it's almost like, like they on the same timeline. It's just like a reboot. They, th- those guys are literally, yeah. you know, kind of the same guys. Yeah, yeah. Right, I agree. I agree. Cooley High. Cooley High, man. Um, shout out to Cooley High, yeah. bro. Yeah. If y'all haven't seen it, I know it's an older film, and it's probably the, it's one of the oldest films we've done. Mm-hmm. It but, is by yeah. by far up Go to watch this it. point. Go watch Cooley High mm-hmm. and see if you agree with us in the parallels between a movie like Juice mm-hmm. or a movie like Boys in the Hood and, and a movie High. like Cooley High. Yeah. Cooley High is very much, in my opinion, in our opinion, it seems like mm-hmm. we're on the same page when we say Cooley High is like the the Boys in the Hood before Boys in the Hood. It's the prototype. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Because you got Mr. You got, uh, Mr. Mason mm-hmm. from Cooley High. It's very similar to Mr. Butler and Men's Society. Mm-hmm. Very similar to uh, um, Furious Styles and Boys in the Hood. Mm-hmm. So go watch those films and see if you can see the parallels. Yeah. Um, I love Cooley High, bro. It, it gives me uh, nostalgic uh, energy. So hard to say goodbye to this podcast. Man, <laughs> to this episode. It's yeah. so hard to yeah, say yeah. goodbye to this episode, yeah. man. Go watch Cooley High, man. Um, and, 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 and comment and throw all kind of uh, information that you might, any, anything that we didn't talk about that you want to cover mm-hmm. in the comments, go ahead and do that. Yeah. And uh, we'll check y'all next time, man. Uh, it's a big job, man. And it's uh, Brenda's baby daddy. Brenda's baby daddy. Go watch Cooley High if you haven't <laughs> seen it. Man, Brenda's a, a Woo. monster, man. Woo. She look good. She act good. Her energy is great. To this day. Um, and she'll give you the draws. Yeah. And she'll be mad at you and get back at you. Yeah. And then let you say I'm sorry and come back and, and get forgive. back to her. Yeah. She's just an all-around good chick. Yep. Solid chick, too. Um, Cooley High, man. Blackbusters, the best movie review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. I'm your host, Big Ja. Mm-hmm. Bring this baby daddy. Yep. And I'll be we'll catch y'all next time, man. Be good or be good at it. We love y'all. Peace. Pew to the max.
Blackbusters.